Greetings, this is Captain Rex, and you're watching Star Wars Nut 77, home of the Star Wars memorabilia reviews. Hey Star Wars fans, how you doing? My name is John and welcome to my Star Wars Nut 77 show. This episode, I'm going to do an unboxing of the new uh, Clone Wars Complete Series uh, box set. Now this is the DVD version, uh, retails uh, for $120 US dollars. They also have a Blu-ray version which retails for $150 US dollars. Now I picked up this particular set at Costco, uh, they had it on sale for $80. It's not a bad deal. It comes it includes all the episodes of the Clone Wars, all five seasons. DVD set is 19 discs, while the Blu-ray is 14. I believe the Blu-ray includes a couple extra features, including some deleted scenes, stuff that's not included in the, the DVD set. Um, I already have uh, every single individual season on Blu-ray, and the reason I decided to get DVD set is because A, it's cheaper, and, and B, is because I can take it to go and watch. I don't have a portable Blu-ray player, I have a portable DVD player, so I can kind of take it on the go and watch it, do a lot of traveling. So, a great series if you guys aren't familiar with the clone wars it started in 2008 uh, ended this year march of this year 2013 it's mentioned before 108 episodes it ended really abruptly uh, unfortunately because of the disney's buyout of star wars uh, and the franchise they they dropped the series so a lot of uh, loose strings there were other episodes created uh, and produced my understanding is i've heard coming through the grapevine that they plan on airing those in 2014 sometime next year uh, but that's kind of a wait and see. Uh, who knows if they'll ever come out? Uh, because this is produced and kind of distributed uh, through Warner Brothers, uh, more or less. So it did air on Cartoon Network. There are half-hour episodes, well, half-hour blocks, so really about 22 minutes, 23 minutes each episode. They're a really great series. Um, not only does it introduce characters that we know, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Anakin, it kind of fills in the gap between Episode 2 and Episode 3. But also introduces a lot of new characters, Ahsoka uh, being really popular, a new Jedi who is kind of the, the Padawan of Anakin. Also brings back uh, Asajj Ventress, and of course uh, brings back Darth Maul, which was kind of cool to see Darth Maul come back uh, in the Star Wars universe. So let me do a quick unboxing of this and kind of go from there, and uh, thanks for watching is the box set itself. Now, as I mentioned before, in the, earlier in the video, this is the DVD uh, set. But the Blu-ray looks pretty much the same. Only difference is there's a blue line here. It says Blu-ray. And it costs about uh, $30 extra. But here, it comes with like this uh, cardboard case here. It's all, you know, shrink-wrapped. Uh, on the back, it kind of shows you what's what's included. Uh, all 19 discs. It's got a exclusive 54-page uh, illustrated book. And it's got a guide book as well. It shows you like the, the episode guidebook, which is nice to have. So um, that actually comes off. Uh, here are the different sides. There's Cad Bane. Here's Mother uh, Jenna Grievous. There's Asajj Ventress. Uh, she actually started in the, the original, well, I shouldn't say original, but there was a cartoon before this that was kind of a Clone Wars cartoon. She actually was introduced in that. Uh, Count Dooku, of course. And uh, Darth Maul, as I mentioned before, is back. RTD2 and C3PO. There's a whole bunch of Clone Wars. This is actually, it's hard to see probably in video, but this is actually embossed. It's really nice, good quality. And the logo is embossed too. Uh, this is actually magnetized, so that's, that's kind of a cool thing. This opens up. <clears throat> you get the string here; it's kind of weird. I'm not sure what that's about. Maybe to pull everything out a little easier. This is your uh, episode guide. It shows your different seasons: season one, two, three. Different discs. Every episode on each disc, uh, and it doesn't really give a synopsis of each each episode, unfortunately. But it kind of talks about. A little bit, maybe like a sentence or so, it actually talks about what happens, but special features uh, on, on specific discs as well. I love the animation style too. It's a really well done series. It's too bad it, it was cut short. Here is the artwork. This is the 54 page artwork uh, the art of the Clone Wars. This is exclusive to the set, so you open this up. We've got different sketches. How did the Clone Wars begin? It kind of explains the beginning of the, the series. 
This is produced by George Lucas, the series itself. Here's some early sketch art of a Ahsoka, Anakin, stuff like that. Different kind of messing around with different art styles. This art style right here almost looks like it's a almost like a Japanation kind of cool deal. Different creatures, different settings. This platoon looks like Bosch right there. Really cool artwork. Actually, the series was launched by through uh, the movie. There was actually a theatrical movie they released, Clone Wars movie, and that kind of kicked off the series. Different vehicles. That's cool. All of the different new uh, aliens that they introduced in the series. Uh, Quinlan Voss is actually a character that they uh, they reintroduced in the series as well. Became kind of a, a fan favorite. <laughs> Aurora Singh, she actually was first in episode one. Appeared a very small cameo during the pod race scene. And she appears in the series. She's a bounty hunter. Aliens and species. The voice acting in the series is really well done too. People actually sound like Obi Wan and, and the guy sounds like Yoda. Different droids, Wookiees. There's a gun gun, it looks like. And that's that as far as the book goes on the back. It's a nice quality book. Here are the different DVDs of season one through three. You open it up like this, and these are how they're stored, like so. This is uh, three through five. Some more discs. Great series. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys have seen it, let me know. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for subscribing, guys. And if you guys want to stay in touch, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'll put links below. And may the force be with you. Take care.